All right, so this video is to help you with your Sony camera if it's not supported with a wireless connection. We're talking about the A7S II, A7 III, A7R III, A6100, 63, 64, 65, and 66. These cameras are not supported with the Monitor Plus app to be connected wirelessly. So what can you do with these cameras? All of these cameras that I mentioned before can be supported via a USB cable with a wired connection. In this case, I'm using the original uh, USB-A to micro USB, uh, which is the multi-port that comes with your Sony camera. In this case, I'm using, just for your information, the A6600, okay? And I'm gonna use uh, my Android phone, which is a Galaxy Note S8 which is very uh, outdated, but still works. And my newest iPhone 14 Pro Max with the latest release of the software. So just to show you that both uh, uh, phones work with this application, with this uh, specific camera. Note that wireless connection, it's not possible with this camera, nor the other cameras that I mentioned. So just be aware of that. To start, we need to set the camera properly. So in the beginning, we need to go to the menu and then modify in under the adjustments in the uh, setup. We go to the display where we select which type of connection we are gonna give the USB. And this, we're gonna select USB connection. It's gonna be PC remote, okay? And then we need to go to a USB power supply and set it off, okay? So we don't want to power the camera with uh, the connected USB. And the rest can be the same. Now we're ready to go. Make sure that you are on uh, video mode in your camera. In this case, I'm setting up my usual video mode, which is in manual. And I record 4K 40p, sorry, 4K 24p. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's my camera set. I can leave this on now. I'm gonna start with my Galaxy phone. So this is the Note 8, and I'm gonna show you that I have installed the app. Let me just unlock it real quick. We go here and we search for the Monitor Plus. Since I already installed it, it's uh, ready to open. So I'm gonna open the application, and it's gonna show me this, uh, well, it should be this, shouldn't be this, but since I have already connected to my camera, it's showing me this uh, view. But uh, what I'm gonna do is gonna use a adapter so I can connect my Galaxy phone, which is USB-C, to my micro USB, to my USB-A. This is the OG adapter that came with my, with my Samsung Note 8, which is a USB-A to a USB-C, okay? I'm gonna connect the USB-A side, which is the end of the cable. I'm gonna connect it to my phone, right? And just as simple as connecting the camera to the micro USB port, and the connection will be set. Make sure your camera is on, and it's already in the mode that I mentioned. And then you're gonna uh, connect the USB to the first port, which is the uh, micro, multi-micro port then the HDMI, the audio in jack, and the audio out jack. So connect it. It's gonna show this screen that it's connecting, and then it's gonna pop back when, what it was. But now, as you can see now, I can move my camera, and you can see that it's uh, working properly. I can focus on, for example, my AirPods, and you can see here that it's working. I can focus somewhere else. It's working properly and then come back, adjusting everything. And it's very live. As you can see, I'm moving the camera and it's very fast. There's not much lag. It can be totally used as a monitor. So there you have it. This is the Android version. This is on Android 9 or Android Android 10. I don't really remember, but it's it's old. I mean, this phone has been hasn't been updated since 2020, I guess. I'm gonna uh, disconnect it, real simple. Now I'm gonna use uh, the same cable, but now I'm gonna use the um, adapter for iPhone. Okay, and for an, an iOS device, we're gonna use this adapter, which is the uh, lightning port. 
the Lightning port to USB-A with the Lightning uh, bypass. This is optional. You can use the, uh, U the USB-A adapter only. Really, this doesn't need like extra power, so it doesn't gonna pop up any uh, requirements in your iPhone. Then you're gonna uh, open up your iPhone and search for the money wrap. This is how it looks. We're going to connect first the USB-A ending of the cable to the adapter. Then we're gonna connect the lining port to the lining, uh, uh, the lining port to the lining adapter. And then making sure that your camera is on and ready to uh, connect. We're gonna connect the multi-port right and it's gonna show in your phone the option to connect to the camera in question here which is the a6600 as you can see there it's showing perfectly Oop. there you go we just click on enter and it's gonna start the connection and then uh, it's gonna show the live view of the camera as you can see here there is my recording there's my Logitech mouse, there is the phone itself, as you can see here, and it's very responsive. It, it works pretty well. And basically you have the option also to uh, have the other controls for this, since I haven't paid for this app, I don't have those, but you have the control of the shutter speed. If you want to adjust your shutter speed, your um, aperture and your uh, ISO, you can do that and you can change in focus type in uh, specifically the a6600 allows this not every model does but yeah uh, check the link in the description so you can go to check the camera compatibility and capabilities this is only for sony cameras also so if you have a nikon canon maybe there is an application for you but this is only for the multi-port protocol of the sony cameras so there you have it Hope this video helps. Remember to go to uh, the configuration. If you connect first the camera to the phone, uh, your Android, your iOS device, and you try to go to configure the USB uh, configuration, you can't change it. So make sure you set this first to PC remote and then connect the cable to the camera because it won't allow you to do any changes. And if you uh, leave it on automatic, it won't choose PC remote first. So make sure of that. Uh, this is a very important step so yeah make sure of doing that thank you very much for staying the whole video hope this helps and see you next one bye